to share with you the proper way of, of gearing up and ungearing with uh, personal protective equipment, especially in these days that special attention should be given. So first thing that I need to do is to clean my hands. And this is just the uh, alcohol foam. Otherwise, uh, laving your hands with soap uh, for 20 seconds is appropriate or antiseptic gel. So I have clean hands now. All this stuff is clean, so I, it doesn't matter how do I start. I can start with my uh, hoodie. And we want to cover as much as possible of our head for any aerosolized material that will land on our head. I will go next with my gown, my protective gown. And the most important part here is not gearing up, but how we will remove these. And we're, we're going to tie this theoretically behind our back. And then we're going to wear booties. And this is important as well. Make sure that uh, they don't tear and we get uh, fluid from the uh, floor onto our shoes. Although I invariably spray whenever I change room or floor with antiseptic the bottom of the shoes to make sure I'm not transferring um, droplets that may land on the floor from one room to another. So here I am, I have my gown on and uh, I will put my mask on and this is probably the most important part that I want to share with you. And uh, obviously we will be wearing um, N95 masks uh, and this is an N95 mask. So I will start with that. Place it under the chin, comfortably behind the neck. And this will go over the ears. I'm avoiding to bring it on the top of my head so it doesn't slip all the time from my head and I have to adjust it. It won't slip from the ears. Fit it well under my chin and then adjust the nose to create a watertight or airtight better uh, seal between the mask and my nose and mouth. Now be aware that the valve will help not to uh, bring mist in your protected glasses but if you're going to be going up and down the stairs or if you're doing something strenuous, you may find the mask restricting you a little bit. And you have to avoid the temptation to go in and, and kind of break the seal, the air seal of the mask. So the mask goes on and stays on. And now uh, I'm ready to put my gloves on. So as I mentioned before, if this stuff is clean and new, it doesn't matter how, in which sequence I place them on. So with the exception of protective glasses, I'm fully geared now. So I put on my protective glasses and I'm fully geared. So I've done stuff with the patient. I, I move things around. What's important is how am I going to gear off now? So the way I gear off is I go, uh, a good way would be in order to touch things and throw them away to clean my hands again so I can get some foam and clean my hands again. So I'm cleaning my hands and I will take the dirtiest thing out first. So I'm going to take first the shoe covers and make sure I fold them onto themselves. A little balance trick here. So I'm folding them clean side out and they're disposed appropriately. Then I'm going to take off my gown. And this is very easy to take out without being contaminated. So I'm reversing the gown side. So this is the clean part of the gown, the part that was touching me, wrap it around and dispose accordingly. And now the tricky thing here is that I've touched my shoe covers, the booties, and uh, the uh, body cover, so my gloves are not clean anymore. So I don't want to go near my face with the contaminated gloves. So in this, in this point, uh, I would go back and clean my gloves again with the alcohol foam, or you can use some disinfectant gel. 
let it dry for a few seconds. So then these are disinfected and then remove my hoodie again in the same pattern, clean side out and dispose accordingly. And now my hands are again contaminated. So I'm gonna take off my gloves, making sure I'm not touching the dirty side of the gloves, go on the inside of the glove, fold it onto itself, dispose the gloves. And now I'm not gonna to go touch my mask or the, there may be humidity on there, there may be particles. I'm gonna to go to the side of the mask that was behind my ears and this was covered by the hoodie. Take this one off, take this one off, and come off with a mask. Now what I have been doing with these N95 masks is I've been spraying them with disinfectant. And this is bactericidal disinfectant. Spraying them, applying the disinfectant with a glove, um, and then drying it well so to, to disinfect it and then possibly reuse it. Um, the other thing I want to um, stay a little bit on is the regular masks, how we will be placing regular masks in patients. Now remember, there's a right side and wrong side, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can pick whichever you would like. And the most important thing in a mask is the seal that it creates in the nose. Many people go very high in the nose. The best way is to go almost in the lower one third of the nose, create a seal here by bending the little wire that the mask has inside and then going with the ties flush with the ears and making a uh, releasable knot. All right, so lower one third uh, of the nose Make the seal here and then tie because if you don't make the seal and you tie tight, you won't be able to make the seal here. These will be sticking out, they'll, they'll be leaving a lot of room for air to go through. The inferior ties are not that important. They're just to keep it tucked under your chin and you need to leave some room under your chin for the air to go out. Otherwise, if it's very tight underneath here, most of the air will, when you uh, exhale, is gonna come out uh, from over your nose and it's going to fog your protective glasses or your spectacles. Now for patients who are not very good in adjusting the nose, I would recommend using a piece of paper tape and uh, coming in and making an extra seal here. I think this is very important to prevent uh, aerosolized material from traveling within our uh, eye center. So I'm going to take a piece of paper tape, and obviously this we will have to help patients, especially older patients, to, to place. I mean, I have a lot of experience in using these in the OR. So go flush with a mask, leave a good part of this, and thus seal the mask in its superior part. So thus there'll be no, um, no uh, vapor coming out from exhaling and fogging the protective glasses. And thus the air that comes out or in from the mask is from the sides here and from underneath the chin. Same holds with masks that have a, uh, an elastic band that goes around the ear. Those may be easier for older patients, for people who are, um, who are novices in using masks to just put them on so they don't have to tie and, and complicate things so much. But remember, the most important thing is the seal on the nose and once I have the mask on I cannot touch the mask again because by inhaling I'm bringing all the particles of the air onto my mask surface so how do I take the mask off I go I wash my hands or with my gloves I wash the gloves I go back to my lower tie first remember I made a releasable um, knot I release that I'm not touching the surface of the mask then I will go to my second knot Release that, take off the, oof, this hurts. Take off the tape and dispose. If I go and touch the surface of the mask, I've contaminated myself. I hope these are some simple advice that may help you in um, gearing on and gearing off in the most uh, uh, safe uh, possible way. Thanks so much for watching.